Get your tools, Jason. We got stuff to install. And just to let everyone know, mag is empty. Rifle is empty. We are clear. Let's start the video. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing an exact edge extractor from Volkortsen Firearms. They sent this out to me to try for my uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. And uh, a lot of people online uh, have problems with their extractor and stovepipes and jamming and all that stuff. Um, I've had this rifle for uh, four or five years now maybe. I'm not too sure. I've had it a while and it's still all stock everything on the inside and I didn't really have as many problems as a lot of people. Um, like every 50 to like 75 ish rounds I would have you know like a failure to eject or something like that and then the most I had problems with was the Plinker Tactical magazines. These are the Plinker Tactical 35 round mags and most of the problems I had it was when I was running these but the more I shot through them it seemed to get a little better but I'm hoping with this new extractor everything should run a lot more smoothly. Also, to note, when I did have those failures, it was when I was using the cheap, like, bucket of ammo kind of stuff. Remington or Winchester, I don't even know what kind it was, but you get like 500 in a box for a certain price. Uh, I don't think I've ever had any problems with the CCI Mini Mags, Stingers, or the AR Tactical ones made by CCI. So I guess you get what you pay for. It is scientific fact. And also, if you'd like to check out, I did a custom camo paint job on this rifle not too long ago. The video is on my channel for that. Well, yeah, that's the extractor there. Just a little little tiny piece. And if I'm correct, the, uh, the way they made it, they moved like the little hook part forward, I think, just like a tiny bit. So it has a more positive grab on the shells. All right. Let's, uh... Take this thing apart and get ready to install this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is take your mag out and make sure the chamber is empty. Then you're going to pop this pin out from the other side, pull it out, and then tilt this back so you can get the bolt carrier stuff out. So yeah, you should be able to just use your thumb. If not, you can use something to press it in, just press it out a little bit. And then on the other side, you'll see the pin is partially popped out. And you just pull it, and then you won't be able to pull it anymore. And then you can take your upper and tilt it up and take your charging handle and bolt carrier out. And once you got that popped forward, you just got to pull the charging handle and bolt carrier group out just like that. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but the thing's pretty dirty. Guess I forgot to clean it after the last time I shot it. I should probably do that. Some other time. And there it is in all its glory. Such a tiny little piece, but makes such a big difference. That's what she said! Alright, to take the old extractor out, what you want to do is kind of put your thumb over this and then come in here with the pick. And you want to push down on this, kind of compressing the spring a little bit. And then as you're doing that, you're going to push the extractor down and kind of out. And you'll see there how it's kind of angled outwards now. So if you just pull straight up and that'll pop out. Just make sure your spring and your little pin in here don't go flying out. You got your factory one there and then the uh, aftermarket one. Doesn't look like a huge difference, but doesn't take much. And don't worry if your spring and the little pin pops out, 
it's easy to put back in, just don't lose these. So if it comes shooting out of there and lose this, you're going to have to get a replacement. Now when you go to put your new extractor in, you don't have to use the pick. You just want to go at an angle like this and then push down. You're going to push down and then you'll hear it click. It's actually a really good quality part. Like when I took it out of the box, I checked it, you know, for like smoothness to see if there's any like sharp spots or rough edges from like the machining. But these seem like they've all been like pre-polished, super smooth. I've heard nothing but good things about these full quartz and firearms. I don't think I've ever seen anyone say anything bad or saying that these don't work. So I'm going to put a link in the description. It'll take you right to their website, and then you can order this. The prices are very reasonable for what you get out of it. Man, I'm excited to shoot this thing now. By the way, I have another charging handle coming, so stay tuned for that video for the this ambidextrous one I got coming. Yeah, just put your charging handle back on top here. Slide it back in. that pop your pin back in and you're ready to go and there you go just like that minimal work super easy pretty much anyone can do it all you need is like a little pick or a flathead screwdriver and the extractor that's it hoping to get out to the range here soon pop some rounds off on a bunch of my guns I haven't shot in a while so definitely make sure you check out Volkortz and Firearms. They are a great company, making quality parts, fast shipping. Check out the info section for all the information. Make sure you hit that like button, really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next one.